Hello guys, welcome to Vinci's Technologies and welcome to JMeter Training and my name is Murli. Today we are going to see in this video how to start a JMeter sample test, right? I hope you have already downloaded the JMeter and go to the folder which you downloaded Apache JMeter 2.12 or 2.13 and you can see here bin folder, click the bin folder and you can see jmeter windows batch file so this is the one it will open the jmeter software okay so double click on the windows batch file this is a windows batch file like a command prompt so first it will open the window like this command prompt window and it will open the jmeter software like this by default you can see here a test plan and workbench right when you first open a jmeter application you can see here a default test plan and workbench right so under this test plan you are going to add all your performance tests or scripts here under here right so test plan right click add so first we have to add a thread group okay so this is the first step for any test you have to add a first a thread group this thread group maintains the users for the testing the web application right say you want to hit with 100 users at a time or 100 users every five minutes again you want to increase some 10 users so like that you can maintain some users and counts as well like how many times you want to run the application so you want to run the application for 10 people and five times so then you can use number of threads users are 10 and five times okay so we'll discuss later in detail so don't confuse too much here so let's keep default 111 so one user one ramp up period one loop count as default right so here i can give the test name say my first test like this okay so this is the thread group i named it as a my first test right so here you have one user one ramp up period one loop count we'll see all this later what is this right so right click on the thread group that's my first test and add a sampler okay sampler is nothing but it is a request you are communicating with a server say if it is a FTP request means you are going to communicate with the FTP server through jmeter HTTP request okay so time being select HTTP request and here you can give the name of the request so I'm giving as a Google test right and here server name I will give google.com and path I can give a slash that's the root if you have any subfolders you can give the subfolder or you can give IP address as well here and I don't touch anything at moment so just I will name the HTTP request as a Google test HTTP request means you are opening a website or web application so the server name is you can give either IP address or the domain name so I am giving here google.com and implementation you can choose here HTTP client and root right so this is called a request and this request is going to run for one user and one time right so if I run this I want to see the results and response of the communication between the our jmeter and the Google server okay so at moment I want to test with one user one ramp up period and just one loop count right so this is a HTTP request right so for that what I do I want to see the results so that's why we have to add one listener so listeners will be used to see the results here you had you have so many options of uh, listeners so these are all nothing but you can monitor your performance test or reports behavior from here so time being I will add here view results tree okay so this is the simple one where we can see the how it behaves etc right so 
under test plan i have added a thread group under a thread group i have added a request that's called a sampler and i have added one listener that's for to view the results right so this is my first test so before running first save the test okay save the test so i am saving here i will select some folder here d drive create one folder here say in the desktop i am creating one folder here sample test in the sample test you can give the test name google sample and the extension is here dot jmx okay so jmeter execution file save right so now here you can see the button green button here so this will be used to start the test so let's start right say you can see the communication so google test that is the test name and it's communicated with the google.com and automatically it's we are the location is in uk that's why it's communicated with google.co.uk as well and here response data you can see here the google page right so the response data you can see here as a text file general text file so means it's gone and communicated with the google server say i want to see the page in html format so that you can see here text and html or you can see html download resources see you can see the google page where it gone and communicated with the google requested the google page and the response come from the google server right so basically it run only one time because we have given here in a thread group only one user and one time so i will increase here one user on counts are five right so let's go back to view results tree that is the sampler where we can watch right and i will clear the results as well so here you can see button clear and clear all so i will say clear all and now again i want to run the test with one user and three times right so we'll see here okay five times sorry you can see here one two three four five so it's communicated with the server for five times but one user so like this you can see the request and response and performance on application say you want to test for couple of users so more users right so you can add the request number of requests or i can increase the users here so i will increase the users here say 100 users and five times with the ramp up period of say time being i will put say 10 seconds like this okay so let me increase more ramp up period we'll see later what is this ramp up period so i will increase the ramp up period to 50 seconds so means within 50 seconds 100 users has to run the google.co.uk or .com for uh, five times okay so in the view results tree if you want to see the performance in a graphical view so add another listener so my first test right click add listener and add one graph here you can see graph results like this right so save the test and view results tree clear all and i want to see the graphical select the graphical results view and click on play run 
see you can see the graphical the points number of samplers it's going to execute it and you can see the behavior how the average performance or median performance and throughput of the request etc Like this you can monitor by using the calculations of how many samplers and what is the average time and what is the median what is the throughput so these are all calculations of the some calculation criteria for the performance right we will see later all these things so here you can see the total execution is done its number of samples are 500 means 500 requests we communicated with the Google and in view results tree as well you can see how many times it's communicated etc and this is the graphical view and it, it is a general view of the communication and you can see here 100 into 5 so 500 so in the graph results you can see the total requests are 500 right so this is about a simple J meter performance test by increasing the users with one particular domain okay you have a lot of criteria so a lot of uh, configuration things in inside and you have more features like you can do so many things here you can add to your test some controllers where you can use some logics to the condition if controller include controller you can add some loops you can configure the elements and you can add some timers between the requests you can set up the preconditions and pro conditions and you have some so many samplers like this post pre-process and you can assert something like a functional testing and you can add so many types of listeners okay so we'll see all this one by one later okay so thank you for watching the video